Welcome to Tuesday time. We are gathered here today in my house, not in our church. But our church, I wonder if you can remember the name of the church. It's named St George's Church, St George the Martyr. And St George is the patron saint of England and it's his special day on Thursday this week. So I thought I'd tell you a story about St George. It's in my story box. Shall we see what it's about? This story was a very, very, very long time ago. It was in a place called Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is the place where people go because they want to feel close to God. The person in our story is called George. Now George was a soldier. He was a very brave man. He used to go to pray to God and God used to come very close to George. Now George knew all about Jesus. He knew about the teachings that Jesus gave, about he, how he had died on the cross and how he had been raised to new life on the third day. George knew what it meant to tell people about God's love. He knew how to follow the teaching that Jesus gave. And George saw that there were lots of people in Jerusalem who were poor. And George wanted to do the right thing for them. The thing that God or Jesus would want to do. So he gave away all of his money to the poor. And he went. And he told them about God's love. He told them how Jesus loved them. But the ruler in Jerusalem at that time was a man who was very frightening. He was very strong and he did not like George going round telling people stuff about Jesus and about God. He, the ruler Diocletian, was frightened himself that George might take his power away. But George, even though he was frightened of the ruler Diocletian, still went out and told more people about God's love. Nothing stopped him from telling people about how Jesus had lived, about how he had died and how he had been raised on the third day. This made Diocletian very angry. And so he killed George. George had been a very brave soldier. He'd been a very brave Christian. It was very sad, but it didn't stop these people telling even more people about God's love and about how God loves us all. And how even when we're frightened, God will give us all the things that we need to overcome our fear. 
people told lots of stories about George and the best story they told was about how brave he was that he was brave enough to kill a dragon. So we often remember the story of Saint George when we remember that he killed the dragon. There are lots of dragons and things we're frightened of in our lives. I wonder what you're frightened of. I wonder what are your dragons? I wonder whether we can say God's love could kill our dragon. So we've got God's love and we've got God's weapons of God's love and we're going to see if we can kill the dragon. Oh, maybe, maybe we might need to try again. Oh, God's love is so strong that even when there are dragons in our life and things that we're frightened of, God says, my love is so strong, it can kill even a dragon. God's love is so strong, it can go everywhere, all the time, and can even defeat a dragon. I wonder what story in this part of our story today you like the most. I wonder if there were any parts that were a little bit frightening or that you didn't like. I wonder what we will do today. I wonder how God's love will kill the dragon. We've been doing lots of things in this house. We have made some swords like George's sword. We made a sword that says England and has the St George cross on it. We made it out of some cardboard. We have made some origami dragons, which I might show you how to make in a moment. We have made some dragons out of a peg with some red fiery breath in there as well. We have made some love hearts to show how much God loves us. And we might make some love heart biscuits in a minute as well to give to other people so that they're not frightened. I wonder what you will do today. But this is the story of St George and his dragon. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore.